Hello all my makeup freaks, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, I'm Stephanie. So today I'm going to be talking about this beautiful palette here. It is the Vice 3. You've seen me do a few looks with it and I'll just, I want to give my opinions and do some swatches for y'all and just let you know what I think. It does take me a little bit longer to get to review palettes because I do like to really play around with the palette beforehand, um, not just go like in blind, oh, this palette has like such pretty colors. So I like to know how the colors work. Let me say it does come with like this little pouch that you can fit the palette itself in, which I think is really neat. But once you get the palette in, there's not a whole lot of room for anything else so really <clears throat> this would be more for like if you're going to travel with it and you want it in its own little separate um, case I think it's a neat idea but you know thinking that it's going to be a bag that you can put this in and like all your other things to travel it's not going to be that this I'm sorry to say is very shiny so it may reflect on you it's very very pretty um, that has like a raised kind of almost jewel thing here with vice and on the back is also shiny with like a lime green color this is um the only vice palette that i have i did not get vice one and two this has a very nice size mirror i'm going to kind of there you go it has a very very nice size mirror in fact i put my makeup on using that mirror today and this is what the palette itself looks like. It does come with a brush, which let me talk about the brush for a second. So it is a dual ended brush. It is not um, a full size brush. It has like a smaller sh flat shader brush here. And then a um, almost like a pencil brush or a small uh, blending brush. The brush is okay. I find it a little bit stiff. The This side here, I don't like it for blending. I don't mind it like if you're going to put something really sharp in your crease or in your outer V. I've done that with it. This is fine just for like packing on some color. It's just not super big, but in a pinch it definitely works. So it was very nice of them to throw in um, that brush. You get 20 colors and this is what they look like. I am wearing... Um, the shed all of the shadow not all of them of course but i'm wearing what i'm wearing is um from this palette and i'm like super super excited about my eyeshadow today i love it so i'm just going to tell you what i'm wearing um i'm wearing this color here which is angel on my lid i have uh d2f which i've just learned what it is recently sorry about that um as a transition color I have a little bit of last sin just in the middle of um, my lid to brighten up and if you can see how much I've used of that that is going to be like one of the colors that kind of get used up quickly I have defy here in my outer V and a little bit into my crease and then I have this color which I'm kind of addicted to called alchemy I have it underneath my eyes and a little bit on my lid that is gorgeous. I have used quite a bit, or I've made quite a bit of looks with these colors, and I'm super impressed, but also they, they have some hits and misses. Let me just say yesterday I was wearing um, a look that had this color in it, which was Angel, or excuse me, which is Alien, and I don't know. On my finger it looks a little better. I could not get it to build up it was like a light kind of wash of color i packed and packed and packed it on and it just was not going to get any darker or not darker but just kind of more opaque as you can see it's kind of a light wash um so i was a little bit disappointed with that some of the colors are powdery especially in like the neutrals here i found them a bit powdery but i do like them and i like that this palette has neutrals which is why I didn't really pick up like the first or the second of the Vice palettes. They did not have any neutrals. And I do tend to wear neutrals on my eye and then go with more of a bold lip. These three colors here are great transition colors, I find. Um, you could even wear them in your crease. This color here, Truth, to me is really the only um, 
brow bone color that you get. Now you could definitely say that Bobby Dazzle here, which is a sparkly white, could be used. I just don't particularly like stark sparkly whites in my uh, on my brow bone. I do have this color also in like the inner corner, of which I would use that more for that. Um, but it is very pigmented, as you can see. So there is Bobby Dazzle. Last Sin, I really like, and I have actually used this both as a lid color and as a brow bone color, but it's a little dark for a brow bone color. I just wanted to see how it did, um, but I just used it sheeringly. But you can see that it, that would kind of work. My only complaint is that there's not a ton of colors that I would consider lid colors if you're going for a more natural look. I feel like there's a lot of colors in here, which is kind of what a lot of Vice palettes or just um, the regular box palettes from Urban Decay kind of have that all in common, which is a little bit why I tend to like the Naked palettes better because they do have like a good range of lid, transition, and um, highlight shades. But I love, and I especially love this color, which is Alchemy, which I've already talked about. It is just a gorgeous kind of cranberry color. Very, very pigmented. And I used Heroin. If you saw my diabetes look, as you can see, that is a gorgeous navy color. Really, really pretty. Really smooth. I don't find that these colors have like a ton of glitter and even Bobby Dazzle, which looks like it would be very glittery, doesn't become like a glittery mess on your face, which Urban Decay, some of Urban Decay shadows in the past have done that. So I'm extremely excited and I always love a good green and that is a beautiful, beautiful green. That is called Dragon, which is a gorgeous name. I love that. So that is Dragon. Really pretty. Um, I've used and loved Lucky, which is a gorgeous, let me turn this around. Lucky, I find, is a gorgeous kind of like copper penny, copper penny look. Um, really pretty. And then Rain. I used these colors together with a look, and those were just beautiful. In fact, I got quite a few compliments when I was wearing these colors. Just overall, I think this palette is great. It is a bit spendy for $60, but you are getting 20 shadows of Urban Decay quality and just a beautiful overall palette. I really do think it is worth it. Um, like I said, some of the shades are a little bit powdery, but still very, very workable. I did not find that even though that they were a little powdery, that they had much fallout. Um, very blendable. The only really critiques that I would say is there's not a whole lot of lid shades or like lighter color shades for me, but I can still kind of make do. I do feel like I will probably lose use up Last Sin rather quickly because that is a good lid shade. Um, Angel is a good lid shade, but just with more of like a taupey look, it would be fine. And yeah, just very, very beautiful colors. I hope you enjoyed this quick review and I'll talk to you guys later. Love you. Bye.